To install Android Studio on Microsoft Windows, start at the Android Developer website at developer.android.com and click on the Android Studio link. On this web page, you can download the most recent stable version of Android Studio. As of the date of this recording, that was version 3.5.3. But if instead you want to download a preview release, click on the preview link. Here, you'll be able to choose from the most recent preview releases. As of the time of this recording, there was version 3.6, Release Candidate 2, and version 4.0, Canary 9. And that's the version that I'll be using. If you download a stable version, you'll get a conventional Windows installer application. There aren't very many options in it, and you really can't go wrong, so just run the installer and install the software. The process for installing a preview release, though, isn't quite as intuitive, so I'll show you how that works. I've already downloaded a zip file to my desktop. When I open up the zip file, I'll see a directory called Android Studio, and in there, a whole bunch of subdirectories. You'll want to extract this Android Studio directory and put it somewhere on your hard disk. Now, I've placed this directory under my Program Files directory under a directory that I created called Android Studio. From there, I'll click into the contents of the directory, and then I'll look at the bin subdirectory, and this is where all the executable files are. There are two applications here to know about. Studio, which is for 32-bit windows, and Studio 64, which is for 64-bit windows. I'm working on a 64-bit version of Windows 10, so I'll double-click to start Android Studio from there. If you see this dialog appear, you're on the right track. And I'll next show you how to choose what happens in this dialog, and then how to continue setting up the Android SDK.